New into stock, we have a Fiat 500 1.2 lounge three door. It's 2016 on a 65 plate. It's a really, really good spec. It's got a sat nav, panoramic roof. It's only done 12,126 miles. It's got a full service history and it's a one lady owner from new. Fuel economy, urban 51.4, extra urban 65.7, combined is 60.1, and it has a 0 to 60 time of 12.9 uh, seconds, top speed of 99 miles per hour, and that's out of a 69 brake horsepower engine. Only 20 pound a year road tax. It's finished in Bianco white or Grigio cloth. Um, it's kind of a, a tartan effect, I would say, at the bottom, and uh, also uh, matches the body on the on the top. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it now. The uh, Fiat 500 is kind of a, a TARDIS. It's small on the outside, but there's plenty of room on the inside. Bags of room for me, I can sit far enough away from the, the steering wheel for me to feel comfortable. Um, you're not going to buy it for four people to drive around in. The back seats fold down, the 50-50 split anyway, so you can get all your luggage in. You, you can go anywhere in this car. It is well equipped, it's got sat, sat nav, it's got the blue and me hands free, which I'll explain to you later, and reversing sensors. Now it's got a full service history. And I know what you're all thinking, you're thinking, oh no, he's going to kick off again. Right, so, again, service advisor, one job, stamp it. We had to photograph that and magnify it in order to read what it was so as we could check. So it was done at Arnold Clark at Salford, uh, honestly, at... Um, 6,465 miles on the 18th of the 1st, 2017. Then it was done at Arnold Clark Automobiles at 10,627, but on that one they've managed to stamp over the date and we did get it. I think it was the, um, hang on, let's just have a look. I think it was the 20th of the 12th, 2017. But, you know, it is a simple job, and it's a very, very important job right through the life of the car. Get the date right, get the mileage right, stamp it, and then don't put so much ink on that when we get round to here, it's gonna cock all that stamp up as well. Get somebody who can do the job, for goodness sake. It's, uh, it's so annoying and time consuming for anybody who wants to do the job properly and make sure that the car has got a service history. Um, it may seem like a, an unimportant task in the, the scheme of things, but it isn't. It's very, very important. So we've got, re easy for me to say, we've got reversing sensors. There you go, it's beeping. We've got the sat nav here. Great feature in this car, it's got a glass panoramic roof, um, stretches right the way above the driver, right to the back of my head here, so. Could you go a bit faster? Round the corner and cut it. <laughs> we've got, because it does get hot, we've got a, a shade band there that will slide over as well. Done it again. I've forgotten. Height adjustable multifunction steering wheel. Also, this, uh, as I say, there's, there's plenty of legroom for me. I could actually go back even further, which is unusual. Um, there's kind of a, it's not exactly a height adjuster, it's a, it's a bottom lowerer. The, the back goes down, but the front stays where it is, which uh, I'm sure will suit most people, but. Uh, it just seems strange to me that the whole seat doesn't go down. Good electric front windows. Got 
got city power steering as well city power steering button there and one of the things I do like about this uh, this car and probably Fiat themselves is that uh, the stop start button or the stop start system which normally comes on every time you get in the car you can knock it off completely or you can knock it off till you actually want it on which for me would be never so uh, well done for that Fiat as I've said in videos before these are the Fiat uh, Cinquecento is my favourite my second favourite car the original is my first favourite small car um, loads of them still going around fantastic cars and uh, I wonder if anybody anywhere works out cost per mile for a vehicle through its whole life I would imagine the old 500s are, are kind of negligible wanted to get past me behind driving about two inches from uh, my back oh she's waving at me now I'm not going fast enough for her well, we'll pull over and let her go past Cars fitted with alloy wheels. It's uh, best way to describe them is the 14 cross spokes. And kind of like your, your fingers, like so. Nice dashboard. Everything's in one place. The display. You've got your fuel computer in the centre with your uh, fuel gauge mileometer range on the outer circle of that there is a rev counter and then uh, the speedometers on the outer of, of that That's amazing. It's wonder she can see where she's going. Oh, she's nearly run into that guy now. In a, in a dreadful hurry. Which hope she's not behind this guy. So sat now, we've, as I said, we've got the blue and me Alfa Romeo stroke uh, Fiat hands-free Bluetooth which is a good system and will also stream your tunes as well in fact let's just go into media Barry's iPhone not sure what's going to come up here no not again <laughs> same tune as was on yesterday try this one so, great system great system the audio system take you up the motorway now as well he's going to get wet in a minute something everybody who's not got a convertible likes to see
you have to work it through the gears a little bit, but uh, very, very nice to drive. Performs better working through the gears. I might just have to do an emergency stop in a minute. <laughs> miles an hour it's a five-speed gearbox and we're doing 3,000 revs even uh, the lowest fuel economy figure on here was 50 miles to the gallon so uh, I'm sure it is possible to get less than that but that's something to aim for 20 pound road tax and uh, as I say really good specification Aircon, the aircon's icy cold as well, nice and quiet. And uh, certainly ideal for towns. Electric windows, the switches are on the centre here, just at the side of the gear stick. Down here we have uh, two cup holders, another two cup holders here, a power socket, auxiliary in, and a USB socket there for your mobile or charging, whatever. That's the phone, as you can see, my phone's synced to it. I'll show you how to. Uh, pay your phone and also stream audio in a short while when we get back to the garage and also how to uh, set the navigation system so that's uh, city power steering that shows in the centre when it's on get a little bit more feel on the motorway with it switched off. Body coloured um, dash panel. I'm not sure how you describe this, whether it would be um, some kind of tartan and again matching the outside or the body colour with the, the top of the seats. Nice contrast. Seats are very, very comfortable. And backrest winds away there. The glove box. You've got uh, air vents on the side there, two air vents at the side of this little panel here. The seats have this uh, either embossed or embroidered 500. We've got chrome, uh, chrome grill underneath the grill, the, the kind of radiator vent because the, the grill isn't a, a grill as you'd have on a, a bigger car. The actual uh, ventilation for the radiator is underneath, and it's kind of a, a Mercedes-style jeweled starry sky sort of thing, which is uh, quite nice with little kind of chrome dots on it. The door handles are chrome and also the boot handles chrome and we have a chrome strip um, just below the windows. Tinted windows as well. Rear wash wipe. Got a load cover. 
the uh, side and the headlamp switches are on the indicator there and your wipers are on the right fog lamps here and uh, let's give it some gas So when you run it through the gears, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's okay, mate. I'll guess. Bath one of these or the uh, was it the Michael Schumacher edition? daytime running lights reflected on the back of that uh, car in front Function steering wheel here, your telephone um, controls are on the right hand side, and audio volume on the left. I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this little Fiat 500 uh, from any screen onto nav then click find you've got home favorites and address you want to address city postcode we are Grosvenor Garage Chorley Road Watmerdale Preston PR5 4JS now I can tell you this screen uh, you certainly wouldn't be able to do it on the move which I wouldn't advise anyway but so we're PR5 4JS, I've put the PR in, now we have to click this little 1, 2, 3 button here and it's 5, 4 and then 1, 2, 3 buttons change to ABC, you click that again, J, S. That goes to Chorley Road, click on Chorley Road, it's asking me for a house number, I don't need one. Then bear left. So that's it done. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth system in this Fiat 500. Uh, from any screen, onto phone, no phone connected, settings in the corner, click settings. You see there, 
paired phones, Barry's phone, click on paired phones, connect or delete device, delete. Delete Barry's iPhone 10 from this phone and audio device list, yes. That's it, gone. I'll show you how to pair a mobile to the uh, Bluetooth system in the Fiat 500. Uh, first of all, we make sure Bluetooth is switched on. Then we go to phone. No phone connected, pair a phone, yes. Start pairing procedure on phone or Bluetooth device. So click on there. That's so you connect. Bluetooth pairing request. Again, does it match? Pair and yes, it does. Pairing in progress. I don't want it to uh, allow my contacts and favourites to sync, but you would. I won't be using the car again, so I'm going to click don't allow there. Pairing successful. Make this your favourite. Yes or no, that's up to you. Do you want to download your phone book and recent calls? No. So that's it ready. Now, one of, the, one of the good things about the Blue and Me system is, let me just, uh, if I go on to iTunes, you see there, if you click the red triangle at the bottom with the, the three red circles, you see that Uconnect has a tick beat beside it. If it's not, just click on it and tick like so. Go back, click play, turn up, and then if we go to media, I'm probably your tunes are playing through the system. That's it.